Steve Bannon has experienced the weaponization of the justice system firsthand. He's the former White House chief strategist. He has been targeted relentlessly by the January 6th committee. He joins us now by phone to react to news of the FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago. Steve, um, happy to have you on the program, have you by phone here tonight. What's your immediate reaction? Well, well, you know, I gave this speech, the keynote address at the Cattlemen's Ball at CPAC on Friday night. I said, we're at war. We're at a political and ideological war. And they've obviously weaponized the, the Justice Department. Uh, and this had to be approved by Ryan Klain. This had to go up to the White House to be approved. Absolutely. Anybody saying it didn't is, is a liar. This had to go up the chain of command through Merrick Garland to Ryan Klain at least and, and, and Ray and these guys. But look, here's the thing. This is about pure power politics. They're absolutely scared to death about Trump. It can't be Mark Elias, the guy who laid out the entire effort to steal the 2020 election from the Transition Integrity Project. He's tweeting right now all the U.S. code about documents and like how it can you know make sure you can't run for federal office again. They're absolutely petrified. Trump's going to announce in the next couple of weeks win the Republican nomination, win the White House. Now, here's what's incumbent upon everybody. The House leaders right now need to step up and recommit Jim Jordan Full investigation. I think cutting off appropriations to the FBI to get to the bottom of this. Okay, this, this is this is going to continue on. The FBI right now is the Gestapo. The FBI is the Gestapo. Whether it's out in Colorado, putting a gold star mother like Tina Peters in in, in chains, Peter Navarro in chains, it's absolutely obscene. This is an obscenity, and we're going to have to fight fire with fire. The way to do it you is know, win election, win them overwhelmingly, and then use the appropriations process to choke down the FBI and choke down the Justice Department and get to the bottom of who approved this. This is this is so outrageous. It needs you know, Steve, to be I wanna, investigated. I want to ask yes, you this sir. question, Steve. Um, yeah. You know, I'm familiar with um, I'm familiar with your point of view. I'm familiar with the opinions you share on War Room. I'm uh, familiar with how deep you fear the corruption has run within the United States of America. I'm curious. I said this earlier in the program. Believing elections can change the the place in which we sit today in the United States of America is a very optimistic point of view. Because this corruption, if it is partisan corruption, isn't relegated to the FBI. We saw 87,000 new IRS agents have been hired. You can look at almost any federal institution, including the intelligence community, who dismissed Hunter Biden's laptop as disinformation. And you can say to yourself, this isn't one apparatus. This is not one department. This is not one election. Our problem is deeper. Well, you're 100 percent correct. This is not about corruption. Let's set that. That's not correct. This is about the administrative state. This is about an undemocratic apparatus, bigger than bureaucracy. This is the administrative state, and they want to run things their own way, and they want to pick and choose who actually runs and who actually wins. This is why it's incumbent upon. Look, we have two thirds of the nation's in back of us: Hispanics, African Americans, Asian Americans. It's now time to take control of the House of Representatives with an overwhelming victory, and then act like we mean right. That Jim Jordans and people have to step up, and Kevin McCarthy have to step up and say, we're going to yep. have full investigations, we're going to choke them down in appropriation. Listen, we I got are, it, Steve. this is a non-democratic. Okay, go ahead. I hate to cut you off, Steve. We have, uh, we have more information coming in as we speak, so i got to get to that. Steve, it's great to hear from you tonight. Thank